Hi. In a previous video, I showed people uh, what you can do with a Chromebook offline. And there were two things in particular I showed you that I, I just want to show how to actually enable those features. And that's to pin books on your hard drive in either the Kindle Cloud Reader or the um, Google Books app, the Google Play uh, Book Reader. So, first let's go to the um, my Kindle Cloud. And again, this is for if you're uh, using a Chromebook and you want to read something, let's say, on a plane, offline, etc., and you want to do it on your computer, but you know you won't have um, access. So what you're going to do, as you can see, I have a, a, a ton of books here, is you are going to um, right-click or, I guess, double-tap uh, with two fingers, and there's two options. You can either open the book or you can download and pin the book. And I'm going to choose to download and pin the book. And uh, it's going to take a few minutes to do that. Actually, the Kindle books are not that that uh, slow, so hopefully it'll do it in a fair amount of time. And then once it's done, you'll be able to see that if I go from the cloud to my downloaded section, it actually shows up in my downloads, so I can just open that um, the same way I would if I were um, online. So, now let's say that you want to um, to actually get rid of that book on your desktop. The great thing about pinning a book is that you don't have to search through your file folders to actually delete the, fo the file from your desktop. I can actually go back, double click again, just open the book by mistake, let me go back. So double click again and instead of open book I'm going to hit remove book. Uh, that might be confusing because it sounds like it's going to remove it from your actual library. It won't. It will only remove it from your desktop. So now you can see I have no books downloaded offline, but of course the book is still there in my desktop. So the next thing is uh, Google Play Books. So let's go in here. I actually have a few books that are already available uh, offline. So you'll see, hopefully you can see under the book Reign of Error, I actually have it available offline. It says uh, right, right there that it's uh, available offline. Here's how you would make something available offline here is if you uh, just hover your mouse over a title, um, it has a description and you probably can't see it from there, but on the lower um, corner, let me see if I can move this just a bit closer, on the lower corner it says make available offline. And that's what you're going to do is you're going to actually check that box. Um, so now that that box is, is checked, what it will do is if I actually... Um, undo that, you'll see that it's actually uh, downloading. And it, it's going to take some um, time. Oh, okay, it's actually available now, so it didn't take as much time as I thought it would. And if I want to unpin it from the desktop again, I don't have to go through my file folders, I just uncheck. And now you see the icon for available offline is gone. So those are the two things that you can do uh, to make sure that you can read books offline. This is great for like going on airplanes and stuff like that. All right.